Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana has flatly rejected calls made by the Chinese Foreign Ministry to stop maritime drills over the West Philippine Sea. Lorenzana asserts Philippine sovereignty over two disputed islands based on the 1982 UNCLOS and the 2016 Hague ruling. But is it wise to continue our maritime activities despite warnings from the Chinese government? To enlighten us on this matter, we have Manny Mogato, One News Defense Editor. Manny! Malino naman ang uh, ma malino, Good evening, no, Manny, malino naman ang ang pinapahiwatig ng Pilipinas uh, dito but how confident is everybody and how confident are you that uh, our exercises will not in fact escalate tensions in the West Philippine Sea It will not Robbie because that is the right approach the right response to China's lingering presence hmm. in the South China Sea uh, if they are using militia vessels, fishing vessels, and the Coast Guard to assert their claim on the South China Sea, we should also do that. Mm -hmm. And the right equipment, the right response is through the Coast Guard to uh, assert our maritime laws, our environmental laws, because they are destroying the fisheries resources in that area. Okay, so going back to that strategy, kung tamang-tama lang yung strategy na yon, is there room to even ramp up the strategy? Yes, Robbie, because uh, we saw that China has been using fishermen as a militia to control the South China Sea. Uh, the Philippines is now doing that by sending fishermen and our uh, Coast Guard, our civilian uh, personnel of the BIPAR, and the police to also uh, claim our uh, sovereignty and uh, sovereign rights in those uh, seas. Okay, maraming salamat. That was Manny Mogato, One News Defense Editor.